Alright, we're going to do a few more examples of using the addition and multiplication properties. Here we have negative 9x is equal to 0. So think about our goal. We want to know what does x equal? x equals some number. Well, right now x is being multiplied by a negative 9. So the opposite of that would be to divide by negative 9. What we do to one side, we have to do to the other side. So which will cancel the negative 9's out. So on the left side we have left x equals 0 divided by 9 is 0. Remember, anytime you're doing division, if 0 is on top, the answer is automatically 0. Now here again we could check this. Negative 9 times 0 is equal to 0. So that is a true statement. For the next example, we have 9 over 11 is equal to negative 5. Well, keep in mind our goal always, we want to get the variable alone. We want to know what does n equal. Well, right now, n has this 11 attached to it. And remember, when things are written as a fraction, that's just a very shortcut way of saying divided by. So this literally says n divided by 11 is equal to negative 5. Well, we think, how do we undo that division? Instead of dividing by 11, the opposite would be to multiply by 11. And what we do to one side, we have to also do to the other side. 11 divided by 11, again, is that 1. So on the left-hand side of the equal sign, we have n is equal to negative 5 times 11 is negative 55. Now, always checking, negative 55 divided by 11 is, in fact, negative 5. So that's the correct answer. And last one here. Here we have x over negative 6 is equal to negative 6. Well, you know, don't skimp on any of your steps. Talk yourself through each one of these equations, asking yourself, what is my goal? The goal is to get x alone. And then look at, why is x not alone right now? x is being divided by a negative 6. So then ask yourself the next question, how do I undo that? Undoing division by negative 6, to in, to, in order to undo that, rather, I should say, we would multiply by negative 6. What we do to one side, we do to the other side. So now we have on the left-hand side an x, and on the right-hand side, 36. Is 36 divided by negative 6 equal to negative 6? Yes, it absolutely is. If you try to skip steps and you try to just start in and work the problem, you will have more trouble. Until you get really comfortable and really good at solving equations, make sure that you're asking yourself those leading questions as you go through. What is my goal? Why is the x not alone right now? How do I undo that? Walk yourself through the problem.